my car is doing this. I am so over this. Um, this is like, I think it's been a week since I fixed my car. I spent like $670 on it. Um, my check engine light come, comes on again. I just, I just finished paying off my car. Um, I don't really have money to keep doing this. Like, I need to save my money. So my car has been in the shop three times this month within a three week period. And I went in for a check engine light and then the light came back on so I had to bring it in again. And then the day after I got it, after the second visit, my car wouldn't start. And so I was late to work yet again. Can I be concerned that my car is leaking this much in like 30 to 40 minutes? You guys, um, my check engine light has been off for a while, um, but I love how it just turns on now, right when I park at the auto mechanic shop. Um, like, why? 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 Why did this happen? Hey y'all, it's your girl Joy back with another video. In this video, I will be telling you the story time about how I bought my car at 21 and the reality of buying a used Jeep. At 21 I will also be taking you with me to clean it up since it is really dirty and we will also give you a tour of the Jeep once we're done with all that so let's get into the vlog you guys are going to come with me like a used car is like a liability it's not something that you invest in to get more profit off in the future because the value already depreciated like a lot so Like I said, I am 21. I paid $3,500 for my 2002 Jeep Liberty Limited. It currently has 177,000 miles, I believe. So it's not that many miles for the age, except I've heard a lot of people say that Chrysler engines do not last long. So if you're looking to buy a used car, you might want to do more research and maybe not buy a Chrysler engine vehicle because Jeeps are Chrysler engines, I believe. So um, I haven't had any issues with the engine, but I've had issues with other things in this car. So what had happened was um, before my dad left, he bought the Jeep in full in cash and then he gave it to me and ex I was expected to pay it back to him and I paid it off from October to January. January was when I made my last payment. So I believe I did $500 or twice a month, $500 twice a month for four months and I paid it off. And I, I really do like that I got a used car because I like not having to budget for a monthly car payment. So if you are young and you need a vehicle or you're looking to get a vehicle, I highly suggest um, A, getting a job, B, having your parent buy a car in cash, and then you pay them off. That way um, you can have a car sooner and you can eventually own the car. And I would say when you're buying a used car, you have to you have to go into it knowing that 
you don't necessarily know what the previous owner did or did not do you you really don't know how well they maintain their car and you could have a whole host of issues so if you are going to go down the cheaper route and buy the used car just make sure it's something that you really do like and you are going to be content with because when you do have to do those repairs you're going to be in that mindset of thinking like oh like i'm repair i'm putting so much money into this car it's worth more than what i paid for or it's worth more than the value of the car and then you might want to opt for a different car because you're so sick of it so you just want to make sure you're getting that car whether it's a make model or just what the interior and the amenities the car offers just make sure that you are content and happy with it so that when you do have to make repairs you don't feel like you want to give it up because it's not worth it to you with this jeep i always wanted the jeep liberty when i was in high school i wanted exactly a 2002 to 2005 jeep liberty and i got that and that was a goal i had written down and i totally forgot about it and i never thought i was going to accomplish it i had that goal i wanted to accomplish it sophomore year of college almost made it i did it so junior year of college so and the thing is i put more money into this car than it's worth and i will be next month or this month i will have spent um, close to the same amount of money i paid for it um, just to have the car in repairs and a lot of people would sit there and think like oh this is not worth it um, well to me it's it's like i like this car i don't plan on getting a new car anytime soon and the other thing too is I don't have the type of money to buy a newer a newer car like not a new car but a car that's a little bit newer than this one in age and so for me it's it's a high risk in general once you desert your old used car because it has too many repairs for a new used car because you're, you might run into the same issues and at least you know with the car that you currently have even if it might act up a little bit you know that you know what you did and what you didn't do and so that's kind of where I'm at. Sorry, that was like a long story. But anyways, that's my tip. Um, I, I just, my biggest piece of advice for college students is to not throw your money away. I know there's a lot of people that are my age and even younger that just go straight to buying a brand new car. And I really don't think that that is necessarily a good choice for your financial future because you know, you're gonna have student loans, car loans, eventually mortgages and all of these types of loans and you have to make sure that you can afford it and you should never buy a car thinking that you can pay it off in the future with your job when you graduate because you don't even know if you're going to get a job in your career field you don't know what type of job you're going to get you don't know if you're going to make a lot of income in the future and the last thing you want to do is buy an expensive car that you can't maintain or upkeep or pay it off in the future so i would definitely recommend people start off with a used older car to start off with so when i bought this jeep liberty in july or when I got it in July of 2020, there wasn't really any issues. This I got it off from OfferUp. Like, yeah, be careful if you're shopping on OfferUp. I mean, the guy was really nice, um, but I don't think that him or his wife maintained this car because I've had to I've had to replace and repair a lot of things in the past nine months. And I've only had this car for nine months and this car is older in age. It's almost as old as me. So it's bound to have a lot of things that need to be replaced. And when we bought it, the guy was speaking in Spanish. So I, it's not like I could ask him really like what was wrong with it. I think I tried to, but I don't think he understood me. So but um we went ahead and got it because we need i needed a car my dad was moving soon and this was the best deal that i saw and it seemed all right i didn't start noticing problems until i say a few weeks after getting it the check engine light would come on and then it would leave so i just didn't do anything about it because it wouldn't stay on long and then in the fall of 2020 i believe it was thanksgiving break my car would not start and i was like oh my god what is this and the check engine light simultaneously was on as well and so I, I didn't really have money to fix it at the time so i went ahead and had one of my boyfriend's friends work on it and he 
um, did some stuff and then the light went away and then eventually my car kept not starting and so I went to the mechanic and then they were like oh fixing this that and then the check engine light kept coming back on so I was taking my car into the mechanic about five to six times between February and January it was not a good time and the time that I took my car to mechanic was right after I paid off my car so in January after I paid it off boom massive car bills and I was like oh my gosh I literally just paid my car off so it's just like why 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 anyways so that happened and then I get my oil changed every three months and so Valvoline people told me I had an oil leak and this was right after I paid those massive mechanic bills in January February and I was like great and so I was like I don't have the money I don't have the energy at the time and so I was just planning on going to fix the oil in a few months so last week or the week before that I went in they checked it out and they were like well the oil leak isn't really that concerning but you're radiator and your um coolant system are linking i believe that's what they said and and it needs repairs so i had a massive bill then and they also told me that my upper and lower ball joints on the suspension are completely worn so it's metal to metal and i could get possible suspension damage on that and so that's like another thousand something dollars in repairs. They also said I needed an alignment, which is like $80. And the oil leak, if I really did want to fix it, is another thousand. So yeah, um, that was a lot of stuff. And then there's things in this car, like the tires are going to be, they're gonna, the, tr the tread on it is not low, but I'm starting to see a lot of cracking on the sidewall of the tire. And that's concerning me because they're, they're getting bigger and more, more of them are on there. So the tires are eventually gonna need to be replaced. The spare tire is not good. Like every time someone comes to my car, they always look at that spare tire and they're like, you need a new spare tire. And I'm like, I know everybody tells me that because the thread is literally coming out of the tire and the tires came with this car. My AC is acting up. It's like blowing hot air. And then my radio knob is acting up. You, you can you used to push it in to stop it. And then now it gets stuck in there. Other things that are need to be fixed, um, there was this one time I had my phone suction cup on here and my window was going down and yeah this window is a bit i don't really like opening it because sometimes it goes up sometimes it doesn't so that one is a really iffy this chair i'm sitting in is kind of like broken um the back window over there doesn't have shocks on it so if you open it up it'll just come right down that back door to the trunk does not open um i guess that's all the things in the interior that need to be fixed but everything else is fine so let's talk about all the things that I've repaired in this car in the last nine months. Spark plugs, windshield wipers, battery, new tail lights, um, cam and crank crank wait, cam and crank sensors, radiator hoses and radiator cap. Oh, the the gasoline cap is also new. Um, the coolant fluid exchange. That happened twice on two different occasions. The starter is new, the radiator is new, the water pump is new, the thermostat is new, the coolant recovery tank is new. So guess how much that costs, including all the oil changes that I have done in the last couple months. So in repairs and in maintenance, I've spent $2,901.02 on top of the $3,500 I spent on this car. I need to fix the suspension upper and ball joints and oil leak and alignment and if i repair all of that that will be two thousand two hundred eight dollars in repairs so as you can see this is pretty expensive but honestly at the end of the day i know that a lot of this stuff is new and i know that it will last me for a while the only thing i'm worried about is this engine <laughs> Uh, let's 
All right, y'all, so I just finished cleaning the car. One thing I wanna put your attention to is the tire valves. I changed them out and I put these really pink metallic looking ones. As you can see, the quality of the tires, um, there is, uh, it's not looking as good, but very dirty looking. And the tires are all from different brands. Like that one's from Goodyear. This one is from Yokohama. This is the back one, a different tire. This one is Michelin. And then this is Destination Lee. So they're all from different brands. I did not do that, that it came like that. So um, what I love about this car is the really big side mirrors. I love that it has this view as well for your blind spots. So we open it up. As you can see, 2002, so there's some wear and tear, a bit fading in. This is, no matter how much I clean it, it's gonna look stained and dark. And this one is coming undone a little bit. But in this compartment, I like to keep things like sunscreen. This is my favorite brand. And then we have some pink body mist. Just whenever I go to the gym or coming home from school or work, I just like to smell good. We have some more sunscreen. This is my favorite body sunscreen from Sunbum. And then I also like to keep a hairbrush in here. Very important. So this is what this side of it looks like. Um, I actually bought this today from from Dollar Tree, I saw it. I don't know if I like it though, it kind of looks weird. Um, and then I have these really cute headrests. Everything in this car is pretty much this color. It's my favorite color, please don't judge. But I got two of those and these ones I got a long time ago from Daiso. And then um, this chair, yeah. So that definitely looks like it's from 2002. Um, just the wear and tear that the Jeep has, I guess. So these seat covers came with the car when I bought it. And then let's see, that's just what the dash looks like. And then y'all, I just came up with a new life hack. So these are my sunglasses right here. Just get one of these clips and then just clip them right here. Like, you don't need no fancy sunglasses clipper. Like, watch this. And then voila. Isn't that so cool? Anyways, so let's get in here. Um, I'm thinking about putting like a hula Hello Kitty right here, the dancing ones. But anyways, I, this is just for my phone and it's really helpful for filming. I always have this, this is your moment sticker and I just put this little sign. It says, be still and know that I am God. I'm probably going to take that off because it's probably going to fly my way like when I'm driving. And then I just put a new um, fresh, what is this called? A new... Um, uh, whatever that is called. I don't even know. I can't talk. Anyways, so this is my panel. This button is acting up acting up a little bit. And yeah, um, I like that it's kind of a bit more modern for like a 2000s car, if that makes sense. Like this stuff doesn't look like it's from the 2000s, maybe the 2008, 2010 kind of era. And then these are just the coins I have. I got some hand sanitizer. And then this is my little trash can that I got from, Do I know it's the recycle side, but I like to use it for my trash, like your boba straw trash and stuff like that. I got that from Dollar Tree. And then this is what the side looks like. This is just for my um, windshield to keep this stuff looking fresh. And it's also my favorite color. And then in this Jeep Liberty, the controls for the windows are actually right here, which is interesting. All right, now let's go on this side. This is what it looks like from the passenger side. It has this little compartment right here. Ah. Oh my God, I just hit my shoulder. Anyway, so in this little center divide, I like to put my charger for my phone. And then because of COVID, I like to put all my clean masks in here. So that way I know what is clean, what is dirty. And then I have these N95s for if I met someone and they don't have a mask. And then this 
is just um you can put this in here and plug it to your phone um and play music that way it works somewhat but not that much so that's pretty much what is in that compartment so if you're looking to buy a jeep especially a used jeep liberty from the 2000s what i really like about jeeps is that it does have a lot of space but it's still compact like it's not like a huge suv i struggle with parking especially parallel parking and parking in small spaces i used to drive a truck but driving this uh, liberty i feel comfortable parking pretty much anywhere and i don't have as hard of a time parallel parking so yeah, I definitely think that this car is a good option for those who are not the greatest at parking or really anxious to park in large vehicles. I will say that this car is not good. It's not really for gas. Like it's not gas efficient. It It's not that great. It's really thirsty at the gas pumps. On the passenger side, I just have this pink Bible and then I just have like random stuff that came with the car. And then I also have, I also have the tire gauge right here in this one. All right, let us go to the back. So this seat seats five people. Okay, so sometimes I like to put blankets back here. Um, as you can see, like the leather is like not in the greatest condition. Um, but it's not as bad as that one. So I like to keep pillows, like pillow pets back here, and like stuffed animals. I just have a sh another shark and then a dog back there. So right here, I have my reusable tote bags that I take with me when I go grocery shopping. That way I don't have to pay for the bags. It's really helpful, I definitely recommend. And then over there, that's just my bag I take with me to the beach. So. So on the back, I just have these stickers, Born From Away, shout out to them. It's a swimsuit company that I love. And then Long Beach State, where I go. And then my favorite sticker is this one. I saw it on Amazon and I just like, you know, blessing people with a nice word every, every time I drive by. And as you can see, it just says, I hope something good happens to you today. And then with some more Born From The Wave stickers. And I actually saw a Jeep Liberty one time um, have the same sticker and they were driving right next to me. It was funny. So. And then this is the quality of the back tire. So not good at all. And then let's see, where is it? Yeah, uh, that's not good. So if we open, and then this thing needs to be changed soon. It's not in the best condition either. All right, so. As you can see, this doesn't have shocks on it or it needs new shocks, whatever. Okay, so this back right now, I just have like a lot of random junk. A lot of it's gonna be cleared out when I move because most of this stuff is my fitness home gym equipment and I just don't have any place to put it right now. So those are my Pilates yoga blocks. I got some wheel, ab wheels, penny board, and in that black bag I have like blankets, towels, and jump ropes. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then if we look at it from the inside, we have, I also have this little thing that holds my stuff together and that just has swimming stuff for the gym so yeah this is just what the back looks like all right so that was my jeep tour i think my two biggest things is if you're gonna get a make and model close to the same year as mine the two things that you have to be really aware of is that the quality of the seating and the leather and the paint and job are two things that are cosmetic for the car that are most likely going to be wearing down. I've noticed that a lot with Jeeps is that the paint job doesn't last very long and then the seats crack a lot. Um, and then the other thing too is just the engine life, especially if your car has a lot of miles on it. So, um, but overall, 
I am happy with my car. I really love my baby, my Jeep Liberty Limited. Um, yeah, I've never spent so much money on something in my life. So I do try to take care of her on the inside and the out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe down below. And tell me what type of car do you have? And if you have a Jeep Liberty Limited, what's the biggest issue your car has given you? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.